what is going on youtube welcome back to our channel it's been a while it feels like since we posted on here um summertime it's pretty hot whatnot not much to do uh, all the tourists are up here and whatnot enjoying our land our lakes um but yeah our forest was closed for a little while due to the dryness but all this um this moisture we've had opened everything back up we've been uh, fishing and whatnot but it's been pretty slow not much uh stuff to post out on on here right now um but we, we do post on our instagram so if you're not following us on there make sure to follow us on our instagram um catch the little clips and whatnot that we that we be we be doing anyways um i'm gonna try something a little different i'm gonna tie one of my favorite flies i like to throw it's the foam ant so it's probably a short clip simple fly it's hot out here and i got a tea time at three o'clock today at white mountain so Stay tuned, hope you all like it, and if you want to see more of fly tying, just comment below, let me know. Let's get to fly tying. So first things first, I'm going to get what I need out of my uh, magic tool box. I probably look like a dewey with this on, but just trying to get uh, different angles for y'all, you know, to edit stuff. But anyways, first thing that we need, or I'm going to get the, the thread. Took it from my grandma's sewing uh, sewing box thing. Um, so I make the wings with. Uh, my brother took it from this uh, party. It's like a decoration. I'm not sure what you would call it, but this is what I make my wings out of. You'll see later. And um, we're gonna do size uh, 12 hooks. Size 12 hooks. And now I just need to look for the foam. That's so much stuff in here. Uh, there it is. Black foam. Yeah. Let me see that. Uh, right there. So black foam, size 12, use whatever size you want. Black thread and the wings. That's all we need. And we're gonna see the rest of that stuff for maybe another video put that aside and let's get to it okay so of course first things first we're going to adjust that camera so y'all can see what i am doing again we're tying a black foam mat um i'm not i'm not a pro at this i'm not a professional at tying i'm not a professional at fishing but this is what i throw what i tie and it is one of my favorite flies. So anyways, size 12 hook. Slap it on there, just like that. I like to push down, make sure it doesn't move because when it does move, it gets a little annoying at times. Let's get this black thread. I like to give myself a little bit of slack. And um, if you're a first time tire, um, so you start off like, like, with the naked hook, obviously, put the thread on, and just start wrapping that thread. I usually lay the, the extra slack of the thread along the hook, just to cover, cover it, making it a little more um, sturdy, I guess. Not sure how to teach how to tie a fly, but hopefully you'll, you'll learn something by watching this it does take a lot of patience for me anyways covered the, the fly and now we're just gonna cut that extra thread off so that is how it looks from the naked hook to the thread on as of right now so now that we got the thread on what I usually do is well, I think what anybody does is wrap the thread back forward. And I usually stop where I want my, my foam tied on. Okay, so now we are going to get our black foam. And just get the length, the length you want of your foam mat, the width, whatever. I usually measure it with the hook that I'm, I am going to use, which is a size 12 again. We're going to cut. Can you see that? We're going to cut the foam out the 
shape we want. So that's that. We can always cut it again once it's on the hook. And what I usually do is pinch where the thread's gonna get on. So I'll just kind of put the, hang on. So I'll put the, the foam on the hook, kind of get an idea on the, the length and whatnot of the hook and where I want the head to be, I just pinch. So that's where the thread's gonna go. Put the thread on, cinch it down pretty snug a couple times, and then you can adjust the body. Adjust the body and whatnot. I usually go forward to the eye just to get a good, uh, a good, um, make it a little sturdy, stable on there, whatever word you wanna use. Tie it off, check this again, and then I'm gonna go to the, the wings now, so. Okay, I said I was gonna go to the wings now, but um, the, the body to me is a little, I mean, it'll, it'll work probably, but I want it a little bit shorter than that, the body. So I'm just gonna cut it there probably. So that's what we got so far. Let me get that on the bigger camera real quick for y'all so you guys can check it out. So that is what we got on so far. The thread and just the black foam. So I don't really like how this head looks right here so I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of it off. I'm just gonna chop that right off just like that. Now the wing. So. And just cut it however, however long length you want to work with and then as you put it on you can always trim it up. Uh, let's see here. We will use... Um, right here. So I'm going to just cut a good length and width straight as I can. Okay, we got the wing cut. Now, all we're gonna do for the wing is, I'll lay it on there, get the, try to just eye level it on both ends, just like you did with the black foam. It goes right on where you, where your thread is for the, where the thread is, where you tied the foam at on, I use. This is hard, this is harder than I thought to talk and tie flies and try to explain, so. Sorry if it's not really making sense. But anyways, the wings are now on. Now all I do is a figure eight on the wings to keep it apart. I feel like that helps a lot. So figure eight. And then we are just going to go back forward to the eye of the hook. And tie it off. Couple knots. I usually do two. Two knots. And that is all there is to that black foment. We're done. That's all there is to it. Came out pretty good. So that is all there is to it with the black foment. Let me get it in the sunlight. We got the black thread, the foam, and the wings. That is all there is to it, people. My take one or two tries but once you get it down it's pretty easy you can always add more you can add more like black feather right here or white or you can tie your thread down with this body cut the libet off make it like a little beetle or that kind of body but this this is one of my favorite flies to throw and i do catch some browns and rainbows with it
No, I did not sell my flies. I did not have the patience to tie a dozen or whatever. But anyways, that's the black foam ant. Hope you all enjoyed that little clip of the black foam ant. Um, thank you all for watching. That was a little more difficult than I thought. Um, trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. But hope you all got a little um, tips or whatever on tying this black foam ant. It is what I like to throw again. I do throw it often and I have caught some pretty big fish with it on. It's definitely a go-to fly. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed that. Again, make sure to follow us on our Instagram. We post on our story often if we're not posting on YouTube. So we're just waiting patiently now for the um, the hunt, the draws to open up and we're gonna be putting in for some more hunts and whatnot. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank y'all for watching. Let me know if you like this, I can do more. See y'all soon. Maybe I'll post some um, more fly tying stuff on Instagram too. But I just wanted to post something on here for y'all. We're still here and hope y'all are staying healthy and safe out there. Stay tuned. See y'all next time.